Outdoor sports can resume in the latest lockdown easing in England. Clubs like Hackney Wick FC in North London can start playing after several months of being closed. 18-year-old Chelsea Murphy plays for the club and Bobby Cassander is the cl club's founder. He told me what it means for the pl players to be back. It means the world to them. Um, they've been stuck at home for a little while and just a couple of weeks ago, they were able to go to school. So this is an added bonus to them. We tried to do as much as we could um, to do activities online, but it's not the same as being able to meet with your friends, running, joking around, having a laugh. It eases the, the, the pressure on the families at home as well. So it's, been, it's amazing for everyone today. Chelsea, what's it been like for you not being able to play football? Um, it's been really hard. Um, I use football as an outlet. I feel free, but ever since lockdown, it's just been really hard. It's been difficult. And you're a striker, aren't you? What do you miss most about scoring loads of goals? I just miss celebrating with the team. Yeah. Just social interaction generally and having fun, yeah. I suppose. Bobby, I know you started Hackney Wick in 2015. Um, it was after you'd come out of prison. You wanted to give back. You wanted to unite the community. And you also wanted to, to, to give an outlet for people so they didn't get involved in potentially gangs or, you know, choose the wrong route, essentially. I wonder how difficult it's been to keep people on track while we've been in lockdown. Yeah, it's been uh, very difficult because uh, when the real us were able to interact with it, people can tell you whatever they, they want, but when you see them face to face, you can tell if someone's feeling a bit down, if someone's got a bit of concern. But when they're not around us and we can only um, gauge what, how they're feeling over the phone, it is difficult. And um, we've had a, a couple of issues ourselves where uh, there's a, a young player a couple of uh, months back who got himself injured um, in an altercation. So these are the sort of things that we're trying to avoid um, happening and it's been very difficult. So now having everyone back can sort of reconnect um, speak to the families again speak to the young players again see what's going on with their lives and see how best we can help them yeah so it's I mean it's obviously from what you've just said Bobby this is not just about football it's way more than that yeah, 100%, because uh, we're not just a football club. Uh, we like to say we're a community organisation who provides sports as the main service. But besides that, we uh, try to get people employed back into education. We've got a, a film group, we've got a drama group, we've got a music group. So football, we know, is a catalyst that brings everyone here. But we're, we're, we're very much aware that not everybody's going to become a footballer. So if you don't become a footballer, what else can we offer you? So we say think outside the block to get them to think bigger than their environment and what other services they would like to do. So if a player comes and tells us they're interested in art, can we all contact a local art club and say, can this guy come and join? So it's about trying to provide a whole service, not just for them, but also their families and uh, parents. I wonder, Chelsea, when you look back at the past year, and we haven't been in lockdown the whole of that time. It just sometimes feels like it. What has been the toughest part for you? Um, in the first lockdown, I wasn't. I got moved out of my nuns. I wasn't able to see my nun because she's vulnerable, mm. and I wasn't be able. To, I wasn't able to care for her. That was the hardest, not seeing my nun. Right. Are you back with her now? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm caring for her now. Um, I'll go there when she needs me. I'll go there when I finish volunteering to make sure everything's all right, make sure she's all good. OK. And how is she yeah. doing? Uh, yeah, she's doing all right Yeah. at the moment. It must have been amazing for her when you were able to, to go back to looking after her, I suppose. Yeah, it was. Bobby, um, in terms of the young people that you do work with and work so well with how have you managed to keep i mean you mentioned online activities that doesn't engage people in the same way as actually turning up playing a game messing about having fun does it yeah no it's it's, it's not the same there's that um, camaraderie that you have when you the, the joy of scoring a goal and celebrating with your friends it's not the same as doing it on fifa for example you're sort of isolated at home so i mean today's our first training session for the the young adults the young men and they can't wait and so this whole week we've got activities so on monday the, the the first team's back tomorrow evening the youth teams are back the, the the women's team are back on wednesday so slowly slowly everyone is just getting excited for their turn how are you doing financially in terms of sponsors and so on? I mean, it was difficult in regards to the sponsorship for last season because um, we were just in the lockdown and people weren't sure what was going on. And then we had our sponsors and then we didn't finish the whole season. The season got curtailed. Mm -hmm. So it's like we felt that we're doing the sponsors a disservice by going and trying to get new sponsors for this season because the sponsors of last season didn't really get the, the sort of promotion that they wanted. So we're going to keep with the same 
um, services, same sponsorship as last season, but what's been our saving grace that we just got uh, funding from the lottery, which will help us um, f be sustainable for the next five years. Perfect. And are you hoping to grow the club in that time as well? Yeah, we're looking to expand the club into different services. One of the things we're looking to do is a, a college programme. So we're looking to do a sports college from uh, September 2022, where we'll be offering a BTEC level one, two and three in sports. So that's the biggest thing that we're trying to plan for next year. Bobby and Chelsea.